is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that's, sounds good to me. Now, I have some more stuff to talk about, um, in regards to YouTube, okay? So the good news is, my views are up, my engagement is way up, my subs are up, everything is up on YouTube. Like, if you actually look at my stats, my analytics, since I started playing Spider-Man on Friday, everything is, like, great. In fact, I'm not even kidding you, my, my engagement went way up. So now it's telling me that, on average, most people are watching videos, like, more than double what they were just a month or two ago when I was making the shorter videos, okay? That's a good thing. That means my videos will show up better in search rankings, and the channel overall will be doing better. The problem is, and again, going hand-in-hand -hand with all this, guess what? Uh, ad revenue is down. Wah, I'm not making ad revenue. Wah. That's all money, 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 money. And it sucks. <laughs> That's right. Like, it went, it actually, I got a little spike for the premiere of Spider-Man. And now it's down again. To the point where I'm not, again, I'm not even making a third of what I was making just a couple months ago on YouTube. Um. Hint, hint. Save the house. Since, you know, since before they took away my ads, basically. Ever since the ads came back, the ad revenue has been abysmal. And the only thing I can think of, again, I already talked about this a week or two ago in a video on YouTube. The only thing I can think of is that the ads don't display properly on mobile devices, etc. Which most of you guys I know watch now. Because when you're watching a 40, to, 40 minute to hour long video, you're supposed to be seeing four to five ads. And most people are only seeing one or none. Um, now the difference here is, when I was doing all short videos, 10 minutes each, okay. Let's say I was putting out 20, 30 videos a day and you watched all of them, you'd be watching around 20, 30 ads. Do you want to play the fucking game? Now, you're watching five videos a day and on those videos only one ad to play, so you're watching five ads instead of 30. Gee, I wonder why I'm making so much less money, right? <clears throat> I'm doing what you guys wanted. For years, you wanted longer videos. I'm giving you those now. And it's hurting me. So this sucks. This absolutely sucks. I mean, now the good news is, Twitch has been good to me. You know, July and August were both insanely good m months here on Twitch. And because of that, it kind of makes up for the lost YouTube ad revenue. And it basically evens out. It does. It kind of evens out. So even though YouTube's down, Twitch has been up. So in that regard, you know, it kind of evens. But the, my, my problem, my concern moving forward here is, this is the busy gaming time of the year. This is when there's the most ads on YouTube. This is when normally I would make a large increase in revenue on YouTube. And it looks like I'm not going to make that this year. It looks like the revenue's going away. Oh, come on. I wanted more money. That's number one. Number two, I can only lean on you guys so much. You know what I mean? Like, I can't keep, I can't keep constantly when stuff like this crap happens. I can't constantly have to keep coming back to you guys and saying, help. Uh, McDonald's. McDonald's has now accepted my job application. I've been really reliant on people being supportive on streams for the past two months during this whole ordeal. And at this point, you know, I don't know what else I can do. You know, you guys know the situation. I tell you, you know, I'm, I'm honest with you every day. Um, and I can't believe that I'm playing a game where, seriously, where my views are up, okay? Engagement's up. Subs are up. Everything's up. But re revenue is down. It doesn't make any fucking logical sense. Like, anyone from a business standpoint would look at that and say, that doesn't even make any fucking sense at all. So what that tells me is YouTube doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. You know, they just don't. Apparently my old system made it so that I could make a certain amount of money because I would put out a video, you know, so many videos, and those would actually trigger the proper ads versus just doing longer videos doesn't do that. So it blows. It freaking blows. It really does. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because, you know, I have to keep thinking about the future. You know, I have to. And with YouTube still, I'm still kind of being a little bit reliant on YouTube revenue. I don't want to be. You know, I really don't want to be reliant on YouTube revenue. What I want is it to just be solely Twitch. But the problem is it's not, you know, it's very hard to maintain. Like, I'll have a really good day here on Twitch. And then people will be like, oh, well, Phil had an insanely good day. We heard that this guy, you know, King Tut came by and he gave a bunch of subs out. And, oh, and then, you know, someone came by and we saw he had a really good day with, with cheers and tips. So now we're going to just calm down. And that's the problem is when things calm down, now it kind of negated the negative effect of the other days. You see what I mean? This kind of shit... 
needs to come out. This kind of shit needs to be exposed for what it is. It's greed. It's greed. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. But the thing is, I cannot, I absolutely cannot try, you know, be angry or be upset. You guys have been absolutely so supportive. Like I said, these last two months, you guys have been crazy supportive to me in this time of what's been going on with YouTube. So I cannot be angry, and I'm certainly not saying anything whatsoever in regards to that. I'm just trying, trying to be transparent with you guys. Um, I mean, obviously, what I'm hoping is that moving forward with these next few months, with all the crazy amount of new games that'll be coming out, that hopefully we will bring more people to the streams. Hopefully it will bring in natural growth, which it has been. Wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. I've been seeing way more followers and everything. Average stream views have been pretty good. You know, everything's good. So if I can maintain that and keep the natural growth and every month make even a little bit more, a little bit more on Twitch, then I think it'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> I like how you're laughing too. Well, it's funny. If anything, the one thing I can definitely say, my hard work here on Twitch is paying off. What? <sighs> That's constantly begging. I load begging. I beg all the time. I may be. I may be living month to month, paycheck to paycheck, begging for fucking tips and shit on stream for the rest of my life. You know, you guys are being incredibly supportive here, and I love that. I love that you guys love the streams. So. At least the work I'm putting into Twitch is paying off and showing positive growth. That's the good news. Um, it just sucks that on YouTube it's the complete opposite. You know, you put in hard work, you do make positive changes for the better, and you lose money. Oh, you're getting salt, 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 salt. It's oh, even now I get my mouth overpowered with salt flavor because that's how YouTube works. It's a piece of fucking shit. It just doesn't make any sense. Ah, the salty tears. Shout out to Crazy Dream who did 100 bit cheer. He says, "Good to hear things are good on Twitch. Keep up the good hard work." Yeah, I hear you. I mean, I love I love doing what I do on Twitch. I do. Um, <clears throat> I uh, have loved the streams. I, you know, everything. I just love it. I I, I want to keep doing it. That's why I, it pisses me off that because of the irresponsible actions of a major corporation like Google, right, completely fucking me over, taking away advertisements and everything. And then, you know, bring them back, and then they're so minuscule in, in, in revenue compared to what they used to be. You know, what did I do wrong? I'm putting out the same fucking content I always did. This is a situation where, once again, I've done absolutely nothing wrong whatsoever, and I'm getting punished like, like I did, you know? I didn't do anything wrong. What did I do wrong? Nothing. Zero. I, I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. But let's pay Phil way less for it. It's like, what? How does that even make any fucking logical sense? It makes none. You know, I want to keep doing this for a living. I love it. I have a passion for it. Give me money, money. Give me your money. Give their money. Give their money. Let the green roll in. Milk and honey, I like to say. Give me, give me, give me. Please. That was my depression. Holy fucking shit. Relax. Some people just can't control themselves. And I want to keep pushing, doing as hard at work as I can and keep pushing through. You know what I mean? And I'm going to. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep striving to, to keep doing this and afford doing it and everything. So I hope that I can. Again, you guys, your support is keeping me alive. I want to say thanks for the money, dummies. Because that's exactly what you fucking are. A bunch of fucking empty-headed idiots who paid me money to get absolutely nothing out of it. Thanks. <laughs> wow. In particular, you know, these last couple of months, you guys have been amazing on streams. And, you know, we had people like uh, Austin Mink, who did the, the largest cheer ever uh, in July. And a bunch of other people who were very supportive in July. And then in August, we had Tootin' Common, who came in here and was very supportive, you know, with, with everything. I mean, he cheered. He su he gifted a bajillion subs recently, and he tipped me, too. I mean, he's a very nice guy. Um, in addition to all you guys, you know, coming around and hanging out with me on a daily basis and keeping it positive and everything, it's been great. So let's just keep that momentum going, all right? How's the gout, Phil? Oh my god, here's oh, another so one. Clean. How's the gout, the Phil? Wow. <laughs> another idiot. This is How's the gout? How's the gout? Who was it? Hold on, I got, now I have to freaking manually mute everything. How's the Seattle air, Phil?
Yes, I want to play a game, yes. Alright, yes. you will. Don't worry, you will. I just gotta find out who this idiot is now. Say it again. No, say it again. Say, how's that gal? Go ahead. How's that see out of there? Come on, say it again. Man, you're so dumb, I know you'll say it again. Say it. Say, how's that gal? <laughs> Come on. So with the gal, as your daughter. <laughs> He's still saying it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Perry, let's go. Give me a cracker. Wow. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh. Easy to eat. Oh. Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This on? guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.